It's a really tough question. I actually have about a 15 minute response prepared and I'll, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it now if you allow me to. No, you won't. And what is up, Stu Crew? John Based out here. And Shannon Truex. And this is New Media's 2 Culture Pop. We are talking all things reality TV shows. What's your favorite? Which ones do you hate? And who do you think is going to have the longest career once their reality show ends? <laughs> What's your favorite reality TV show? Who does sports count? I don't know if I have one. CNBC. So much drama already in life. I like all of them. Top Chef. If Top Chef did a musical episode, uh -huh. what would be the big finale number? It would be like Hungry Like the Wolf. I love the divas on E. I love fitness. I think they promote a beautiful self-image, so I actually do love watching them. Bad Girls Club. Let's get it cracking in the A town. Flo Kaja. Oh yeah. Mm. Flo is awesome. She's been on the show. Love you, Flo. What about the Real Housewives of New York or New Jersey? Do you look like a Real Housewives man to me? I look like a Real Housewives guy. That's the vibe I'm going for. Perfect. It's not real. It's like, well, Shanene said this in Atlanta while we drank like Cristal. If you go to CNBC, it's like stocks are down 200 points. How's everyone react? That's reality. The first or second season of the Housewives of New York. I watched only because it was like this train wreck that you kind of had to see. Then it just got so awful. They were just the most horrible people I've ever seen in my life and I just felt dirty and had to take a shower. They are a little bit nuts. I don't know, I can just not handle it. Beverly Hills. I'm from California, so I really like to watch them. Oh, shut the f up. You're so I stupid. Who do you think you are? A lot of people say reality TV ruined TV. Do you think that's the case? I do, but I still watch it. <laughs> I don't think that it's ruined TV. I think that it's brought in new viewers who maybe hadn't been attracted by other shows. Why do you think reality TV ruins lives? Do you think it, reality TV ruins lives, or do you think people ruin reality TV? I think we're putting the power to people who want 10 minutes of fame cash out on it and then offer nothing to the future. You trying to smush right now? I just think it goes to their head. They're only famous for being reality stars. They have no skill. What do they do? I almost wonder if it's like when they replay the show and you see the edited version if that's what it is. Whatever you say in editing you actually said but the thing is that could have been one little thing if you said and they put all the negative things yeah. together and eliminate all the positive. You could have saved the world in the middle of the season but if you said F you and then tripped a child at one point that's all they're going to show. All of you. I totally think it can ruin lives, but I think it only ruins lives when they go about it the wrong way, and half the people do and half the people don't. It's actually a good outlet for some people because some people start off in reality shows and they're big. They get a lot of publicity, a lot of people know them. Who do you think is going to have the longest career when their reality show ends, meaning still be relevant in the entertainment business? Bethany Frankel. If living in a world where pasta and alcohol are wrong, then I don't want to be right. So she's the only one who ever embraced the cancellation as saying even I got tired of myself. For someone who made $127 million, for her to be tired of herself, it's like, when do you come back and have a story again? And when she does, it's going to be amazing. So. He actually quoted the Jim Bean money that she got for the skinny girl empire. Whack! I never watched it. I couldn't imagine who she could talk to that would be interested in anyone else but herself because she was only ever interested in herself. Linda reminds me very much of my southern aunt in Op, Alabama who is the sweetest woman but will cut you to your knees without ever raising her voice. The Kardashians. We can't control other people. All we can control is ourselves. Family united. I think they're so intelligent with what they do. They know exactly how to work everything they're doing. They have a great manager and they have somebody in the business from the age of 16 and they'll never die. And that mama, Chris, she knows how to bank those kids. It has been very meaningful to me to spend this time with you. <laughs> and it, nothing would mean more to me than if you would please accept this rose. All right. Thank you. As long as this doesn't make it to my girlfriend's laptop. After the fifth or tenth episode of the oh, whatever Bachelorette number 20, I don't know. <laughs> it's just too much. Like. <laughs> I'm John Basedow. And I'm Shannon Truex. That was New Media Stoop Culture Pop. And your culture has now officially been popped. Booyah! Hi, we're the Real Housewives of Orange County, and you're watching New Media Stoop.